Hi, Josh here again with another quick WordPress tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to manually install WordPress to your site in just five minutes using the famous five minute WordPress install. With the growing popularity of WordPress, many hosting services offer a one click WordPress installation service through cPanel. If you want to know more about hosting and one click installation, watch our tutorial series on hosting and building a WordPress site, or check with your host to see if they have a WordPress script available. Now let's dive in and get WordPress up and running on your site. We will start by running through a quick list of what information and applications you will need to have ready for your 5 minute install. First, you will need to have access to your control panel or cPanel and the public HTML folder on your server. I will be using an FTP and cloud storage browser called Cyberduck, but you can also use other popular applications like FileZilla or even just File Manager in your cPanel. We will be using this information to access your public HTML folder. This folder is what your server uses to display your content publicly, so this is where we will be installing WordPress. We will also be using MySQL in cPanel to create a database for your new WordPress install. Second, you will need the most current version of WordPress. You can get a copy of this by simply going to wordpress.org and clicking download WordPress. This will take you to the most current version of WordPress available. Click the download button and make sure you know where the file is saving to on your computer. Unzip the package and move the WordPress folder to your desktop. Now we are ready for our install. Log on to your cPanel, scroll to and open MySQL so we can create a database for our new WordPress install. The database is what will contain all of your posts, pages and comments that will be fed dynamically to your site. Give your database a name. I will call mine WD Press and click Create Database. Once you see the screen letting you know your database was created, click Back. Now, you need to create the user that will be accessing your new database. Scroll to where it says Add New User on the same page. You can make this what you want, but I'm going to use WD Press again. And then, I'm going to generate an extreme password for excellent security. This is not the password you will be using to log into your WordPress account. This is the password WordPress will be using to communicate with your database. So make sure this is secure. Then click the Create User button. Copy the password from this page so you can grant WordPress access to this database in one of the following steps. Then click Go Back. Finally, scroll to the Add User to Database section and select your new user and database and then click Add. Check the All Privileges box and save your changes. Then you should get this final message letting you know your user has been added to your database. We are now ready to install WordPress. Navigate to the public HTML folder from your FTP browser or the file manager in cPanel. I'm installing WordPress to my primary domain, but if you are using an add-on or a subdomain, you will need to locate the directory folder for that domain. This is the Cyberduck interface and I have navigated to public HTML. Now upload the files from the WordPress folder on your desktop into the public HTML directory. Once these files have loaded, open a new tab and type in your domain name. A page should appear letting you know that WordPress needs a wp-config file to run. Click the create a configuration file button and you will be taken to a WordPress greeting giving you a quick explanation of what is needed to configure WordPress to point to your database. Click Let's Go at the bottom of the page. On this page, enter the database name where it says WordPress. Remember to enter the section provided before the underscore. Then enter the username you created. Be sure and include the full username. Again, including the part that came before the underscore. Enter your EPIC password and then click Submit. When you see this screen, you are ready to run the install. From here, you can give your website a name, enter a username. By default, this displays as admin. To help with security, make sure and change this to something else. Enter and re-enter a secure password, your email address, and decide if you want search engines like Google to make your site discoverable right away. You may want to uncheck this and initiate indexing in your WordPress dashboard after you build your site. Then click Install WordPress. When you receive the success message, 
WordPress has completed. You can type your website name into the browser and you should see the default WordPress theme. Congratulations, you have now completed the famous five minute WordPress install and WordPress should be now up and ready for you to customize. For more tutorials and information on WordPress, multi-site, and BuddyPress, be sure and visit WPMUDev.org. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more great tutorials.